All right, hello fourth graders. So today we are looking at your ELA packet at unit seven, week two, lesson eight. Okay, so this lesson is about making inferences. And it says in paragraph seven, so of your story, paragraph seven, that Judah convinced Abraham Lincoln to sign the Pacific Railroad Act, allowing the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. What do you think Judah told Lincoln to convince him to sign the agreement? Make an inference based on text evidence. So this is kind of tricky because it's talking about paragraph seven, but it wants you to make an inference based on other evidence in the text about that. So even though paragraph seven is the one it's talking about, we're actually going to look back further um, for evidence to think, what, what can we infer that Judah would have told Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, to help him sign that agreement? And I'm going to give you a big hint. Um, we're going to look in paragraphs. I'm going to type it here. Paragraphs 2, two to 5. So that's where we're going to look to find that text evidence. So <clears throat> what do you think Judah told Lincoln to convince him to sign the agreement. So what might Judah have said to Abraham Lincoln? So when we look back in our text, this is where Judah convinces him, right? But we're gonna look back further to paragraphs two to five. So one important piece of information, I'm going to get my highlighter ready and change the color to something that you can see. Um, in paragraph two, it says that in the 1850s, railroad, railroads were changing cities and that um, Chicago had 30,000 people in one railroad. And by 1856, it had 10 railroads and the population had tripled due to the rail system. And it affected everyday life and how people did business. So when we're looking at this, I think something that Judah would have told Abraham Lincoln to convince him um, would have been that the population of Chicago tripled due to the rail system. So population of Chicago tripled due to the rail system. That might have been evidence that Judah would have used to say, hey Lincoln, look how good this is for cities, all right? And another really important piece of evidence is right here in paragraph three, that farmers shipped corn and wheat through Chicago by railroad. Excuse my cuckoo clock, it's telling me it's three o'clock. So if farmers shipped corn and wheat, Judah might have told Lincoln like, hey, we need the railroad because it can help get more goods to cities. So that's another piece of evidence. Farmers, and factories shipped goods by railroad, okay? So we're kind of starting to infer that things that Judah would have told Lincoln um, about why people would benefit from the railroads. So one thing is because it would help businesses grow. It's a good way to ship goods, right? So in my inference, I'm going to start typing Judah might have mentioned people would benefit from the railroads because it would help their businesses, I'll fix these words, and populations grow. It was also a good, and I'm gonna say an efficient, way to ship goods. All right, so let me fix my spelling here. So on your own, I want you to go find two more pieces of evidence. And I'm gonna give you a hint. One of the pieces of evidence, so again, you're thinking of things that Judah, what is in paragraphs four and five that Judah would have used as a reason why the railroad was important and then the other one is in paragraph five. And then you can add to your inference 
using this text evidence what Judah may have mentioned to Abraham Lincoln. Okay, message me if you have any questions, as always.